And we are joined now by our baseball insider, Steve Phillips. And Steve, we finally have a decision. Shohei Otani is staying in Los Angeles, signing with the Los Angeles Dodgers, a $700 million deal over 10 years. It is the biggest deal in baseball history. What do you think? Well, I, listen, we knew the Dodgers were in the mix on this thing and one of the favorites and one of the finalists in it for sure. We also know they pulled back their payroll last year hoping to be able to get under the luxury tax threshold so they could spend more in the future. We knew they were going to be in on Shohei Otani. But to this level? Are you kidding me? $700 million? I thought, all right, it's going to start with a five. Then I thought, if somebody said it might get to $600 million. I thought, all right, maybe. But if you add a couple extra years on the back end, you can get it there. Never, in my wildest imagination, never did I think it was going to start with a seven. I understand there's deferred money. I understand they're pushing it out. The actual value is going to be less than that. We're talking about a $700 million contract, effectively lapping the other contracts that baseball players have gotten before. This is extraordinary for an extraordinary player, extraordinary talent, and he's in Hollywood. The comfort level of staying in Los Angeles, where his medical team is that did the procedure on his elbow, the comfort of, of just living there. We know he recently bought a home there, too, and so and we know he's got a dog and a cat. We don't know much more about it, but we know Otani's not going to be comfortable staying in L.A., and boy, the Dodgers got themselves a superstar. Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, and now Otani. Wow. Yeah, it is, it is simply astonishing when you look at the dollars involved. $700 million. It is a massive contract, but at the same time, it is also now a huge loss for the Toronto Blue Jays. Where does that leave the Jays as a franchise right now? Yeah, I mean, listen, there's no there's no shame in coming in second to try to get Shohei Otani. And look, there will be the debriefing, right? How far were you in? How much money would you have paid? Did it come down to money? Where did you go in negotiations? All those questions are still to be answered. But from the club's perspective, Ross Atkins and Mark Shapiro, they've got to right now, right now, hit the ground running, making phone calls, reconnecting with all those teams that they've been juggling with on the side, waiting for Otani. They've got to go after plan B right now. Now, Juan Soto was going to be plan B. He's off the board. So they've got to go to plan C when it comes to a bat in the lineup. Maybe that's Cody Bellinger. Maybe that's Jung Hoo Lee, the outfielder uh, coming over from Korea. We'll see where they go there. They have to address third base. What do they do there? Is Matt Chapman still an option? But there's no licking your wounds right now. 28 other teams aren't waiting uh, to see what you're going to do. you got to get in there and get yourself going. And so I look for them to be really proactive right now trying to fill their needs. Yeah, definitely need a quick pivot here. How about the fan base? How big of a, of a hit is this to the Toronto fan base? Yeah, it's, it's, listen, that's a gut punch. There's no question. I mean, especially because of yesterday, especially because of Friday and all of the excitement and the, the private jet flying from Anaheim that, that we find out, it, you know, it's the guy from Shark Tank, right? I mean, but, but I mean, you can't even make this stuff up. But I think from a Jays fan's perspective, yesterday got every, everybody's already worked in a lather and it worked everybody up a little bit more. The excitement, envisioning Bichette, Otani, and Guerrero in a lineup what it's going to mean, what he's going to look like in the uniform, what's it going to be, the billboards and all of it, it's devastating. But the Jays are still going to have a very good team, and it is a statement at least that we're willing to play with the big boys, which certainly does have to sit well for fans. All right, our baseball insider, Steve Phillips, thank you.